you've used the term um, sitting into diseases. Yes. That comes about due to, accept, well, sitting a lot. Yeah, for those people who are like, okay, what advice can you give to all those young people out there who have desk-bound jobs? They're just sitting for hours and hours and hours. Yeah, yeah. I um, mean, it's just not desk-bound job. It's also the job that actually increases their stress level. For right. example, like call centers, you know, I think they, they have a very heavy stress because, you know, they get calls from everywhere and then they sit in. Mm -hmm. So there's stress factors and then the sedentary. Okay, yeah. <sighs> I love the term sitting into disease because it's like uh, it's it's very direct. Mm. It's a very powerful word. Mm. Sitting into disease. Mm. It's like, you know, like, hey, you know, you're sitting down and you're getting disease. You know, that is very directive. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. So what do you do? You stand up every half an hour to walk or you exercise your legs like this under the table what do you do? <laughs> okay, so uh, of course, you know, the best way is set a reminder. Okay. Set a reminder for every 30 minutes mm -hmm. to actually go for a 10 minutes or 5 minutes walk. That is the best thing you can do. Or have a makeshift, uh, makeshift, you know, um, a, a working desk mm -hmm. whereby sometimes you are standing, sometimes you are sitting down, you know, okay. Or make the policy maker in, you know, in your, and this is what I would say to my corporate health, well, let's, you know, in my corporate health, make sure the policy maker makes this uh, the important integral part of their, you know, work policy mm -hmm. that they have to move all the time mm -hmm. you know yeah so simple as that uh we don't go so much very far it's as simple as walking